If you feel you're not good enough or thinking about most people are better than you and all these comparison thoughts will take you to this hate trip and then you start hating yourself for who you are and your capabilities because all you want to see is this perfect version of who you are. Even if I had this label on my shoulder as a fashion model which is quite unique and not everybody can be a fashion model so which was definitely blessed and I stood out as an individual and I had a style and everything so people thought I was a cool guy but the truth is I wasn't really feeling the way that people think that I should feel in terms of the confidence, in terms of this, like how I think about myself. And nowadays it's easy to fake. You can pretend to be someone else on social media. You can be happy on social media and sad in reality. You can show all these amazing photos in Italy and in this place and that place and feeling exactly the opposite inside. And if you have a good career or like making good money as an entrepreneur or like freelance or whatever, you can actually get so much validation using all these external accessories such as nice car, or Chanel bag, all these trips that you had. But deep down you know that's not really helping you to feel the way you're supposed to feel. What if you take that away? What if you take that away your label on your shoulder, your career, your job title, your money in your bank account, all these fancy things that you have. When we really become naked in a spiritual manner, that's when we get to see ourselves authentically. So in this video, I'm going to share how I became so confident from literally zero confidence for it whatsoever and how you can also tap into your authentic version of yourself and be confident that's who you are. Welcome to my channel. My name is Sean Emoto and I am a life coach. I have been helping over a thousand of people through my work. In this channel, I want to help you to grow into the best version of yourself and with a little bit of the twist of Japanese philosophy. So let's dive in. Why do we struggle with this self-esteem and self-worth and etc. Even though we understand I am who I am and I'm original and I'm the only person that exists as who I am. I cannot be you. You cannot be me. No one else can be you either. But then everyone understands that we all know that. Well, because we have a tendency to compare ourselves to others. You know, do you remember that when you were a kid and then when you look at some random kids or when you're the kids in the neighbor or your kids in the school, they had something that you didn't have. And then that was a new information for you. Wow, that was cool. New game, new, maybe like a doll. Felt the desire within you that I want that same thing too. When we learn something new, and especially in this case, when you look at this new information, new toy as a kid, and then we form this new identity as a someone who actually have that toy. So what I mean by that, we start to unconsciously imagine ourselves and identifying ourselves as a future self. I am an individual with that toy. And then as a result, I get so much attention from other kids. I become so popular because of that toy. So essentially what we're actually looking for is the result of getting validation and becoming a popular as an individual because of that toy, because of that having the toy. Our brain cannot tell the difference what's imagination and what's real. So when we do this imagination trip, the more emotionally charged, thinking about the, this scenario, we start to form this new self-image, pre-self-image of based on what if, what if I have that toy? But oftentimes this creates the disappointment within us. Because you are forming this pre-self-image with the things that are actually attached to who you are. And you start to identify yourself as valuable with the material things that which has nothing to do with who you are, such as money or career or the position in job or business or whatever you have, nice BMW, nice Chanel bag. This is the reason why people struggle to identify themselves without all these material things attached to it. And especially the ones that who has a good career, who has a very good position in the career, or is very proud or passionate about what they do. When they actually take that away, they feel like, empty. They cannot identify themselves as the individual. When I was a model, I literally just run into this trap just straight away. And I remember I was in the line of the casting in New York City and every single casting I go to, I see all these beautiful girls, literally taller than me because they're wearing heels, and all these boys, so beautiful, looking like a fucking Greek statues. So I started looking at my photos in a different way and I, every casting, and I see myself in the mirror and I felt like I'm an Asian potato. And I began to lose faith in the self-worth. So what I did was I started to literally just try to look like all these white dudes, like all these like fashion models with no fashion style. I was so unique and I stood out because I had a style. I was very good in fashion. So I started brainwashing myself 
with this stupid idea and then I completely believed what I planted in my mind. But shortly after I come back to Japan and I met、uh, my mentor,、uh, he was actually teaching how to pose and how to walk runway show like properly for the new models. And one day he introduced this thing called meditation to us, and then none of us were experienced, so we were very curious, and we started to just sit for five minutes, and that was my very first time that I experienced what is a meditation, and that was it. First time that I was aware how chaotic my mind is. And along this journey of meditation practices, I've naturally learned how to tap into this peaceful state of mind, where I can forgive others or things in myself or past experiences and accept as it is. And what happened was, after practicing meditation for a certain period of time, that I've became someone who was not normal. And then in Japan, and I know it's funny, but literally, my manager told me to become normal, to just stay normal. People sabotage you to be amazing and different and awesome because I was told consist- consistently every single time I go to the agency, sure you gotta be normal. So I became normal, boring, tasteless, stupid, boring. I said it again, but once again I was unique and original, and I felt so liberating because the first time in three to four years I felt myself. I felt. This is me. This is who I am, and then I was enjoying fashion, and then my hairstyle was different, and then I was not normal at all. But the most important part in this journey and this realization and transformation was, I didn't gain anything. I came back my roots, and at a time of being authentically who I am and understanding and accepting who I was, I started to build a foundation of who I am. The reason why most people struggle with the loss of esteem and lack of self love and lack of identity. Of actually who they are without all this label on the shoulder is because they're walking around without the foundation of who they are, and it's like a house without strong foundation to actually support the house itself. And then imagine that the storm hits, imagine the rain, imagine that all this earthquake in Japan, you lose the house, and it can be easily collapse. So many people walking around in their life without the foundation of who they are, but using all these external accessories to fill up the space. To become who they are, so all these external accessories has nothing to do with you. It's not intertwined. It's not connecting. It's just simply attached to the surface level of who you are. So it feels like you're filling up the space internally, but it's just attached to everything around you. And once you take that away, you cannot recognize yourself. So what you really need to practice is to come back to your roots and to really understand this peaceful state of mind. You, where you can tap into this forgiveness, tap into this acceptance, and then be just simply authentic. Because the more you have things, the more distraction that you have to see yourself. So what you really need to do is meditation is definitely a great practice, but you also need to stay conscious and be aware on a daily basis to really see yourself instead of stepping forward or trying to gain so many things. But losing things and letting go things and surrender to to the naked version of yourself. So what I want you to do is this: I want you to just step back from the idea of who you are, and I want you to imagine the world. There's no one, nothing else. There's no one else in the world, just you. And I want you to see yourself without a comparison, without all these egoistical perspective. And really losing that feeling of necessity to become someone that you think that you who you are. What happens is your mind slowly starts to identify and recognize that as who you are, and then start to really remember who you really are. Nothing external actually make you less or better or right or wrong. But in order to build a foundation of who you are, and in actually increasing that self worth and self value. What you can do, or the best thing you can do, is to increase the skills. Everything that comes out from you, the words you say, the how you move, you know how you speak, and how you show up, and everything that comes out from you, not the things that will attach to it. And by simply practicing everything that comes out from you, significantly transform you into the very confident version of yourself. But you have to understand, you cannot achieve this level of transformation and acceptance and forgiveness with the same lens that you're actually looking at yourself 
you really have to step back and then learn to enter the state of peace. There's no better or worse, there's no right or wrong, there's no black or white, it's just you. And then remember, authenticity is acceptance in action. With this said, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it. If you liked the video, make sure to subscribe with the notification bell, and I really appreciate it, I'm on my way to 1 million followers. And I really appreciate it if you could support me on this journey. Alright, I'll see you in the next video. Live your life like a movie.